Another story of timeline, the Crown Lake series. A long time ago, in the middle of the night, outside traffic, inside a car, her mom just driving a car, and his son just play a dragon doll. But one car is driving so fast, it hit the rest of the cars and hit the car, causing a car crash. Five minutes has passed. Her son trying to wake her mother up, and her mother able to wake up. She looks around, she saw all the cars have crashed, and one of them are catch of flames. And the flames are trying to approach in the car. Her mother realizing this is bad. She trying to get out of the car, but the door is stuck. It will not budge. His son trying to help her mom, but he wasn't strong enough. Her mom knows this is bad, so she decided to make the tough choice. So her mother asks his son to get out of the car and call someone to help. But his son will not leave her mother. But her mother asked him to get out of the car, do what she asked. So he did. He's so small he could get out of the car very easily. The boy tried to call someone to help, but unfortunately it's a bit too late. The car had exploded. Her mother had died in an explosion. And the boy just screamed by her mother's name. He screamed so loud he caused a massive green shockwave, causing the flames to easily vanish. Unfortunately, the boy has no idea what just happened. He was traumatized. He easily passed out. This is the story. What if Green was Crown Lake series season one, the new beginning of Crown Lake saga. Remember again, don't you? Let Eleven years has passed. 1994. This is the year of Crown Lake Academy. All the entire students have a great day of their lives to experience a Crown Lake. Inside the car, the orange red haired girl, her name is Nellie Chambers, the first main character. Her father asking Nellie, this is to give the Roach families happy you here in this Crown Lake. Just like your mother always wanted. Nellie was concerned and worried by his father and asking him, Who will take care of you? Don't worry about me, Nellie. I'll be fine. You get vacation and college and do whatever you want. Yeah, I guess. All the students are quite different of us. Well, they're not in coming yourself, of course. Oh, now you're an expert? Well, not really. I don't know anything about this crown lake. Only your mom knows about it. Nelly was quite disappointed in this situation. Her father asking Nelly, Hey, don't worry. You can use your big brim of yours. You'll be fine. Nelly just holding her bird, just remember her mother. Her father asking Ellie, take care of it, it's your mother's favorite, it'll guide you. So, are you ready, Nellie? Um, that's fine, I'll do it myself. Nellie just got the car, Nellie just grabbing her bags. Her father was quite disappointed so, but he decided to rush it off, she'll be fine. Nellie able to get the bags, and her father just left. And Nelly just thinking herself, eh, this is not going to be easier than I thought. Nelly just entered Crown Lake Academy. Nelly just entered a place. Nelly just looks around. She saw all the girls are dancing. And Nelly is quite interested with the dance. And the principal happy to meet the entire girls. And the principal happy a speech about Crown Lake. But Nellie just rocking her speech and asking her name. And the principal does not like this new girl rocking her speech. She asking her, her name is Principal. And she came out late for five seconds late. And Nellie just on her back, she is not late. And the principal does not like her attitude. 
So she confronts her at asking her nickname, and Nelly just instantly say yes by moving her head, and the principal decides to rush off and continue her speech. Nelly decides to stay silent because she really does not want principal to be mad. The principal happy speech about Crown Lake, and Nelly asking the girl how Crown Lake works and all that stuff. And the girl was a bit annoyed, but she decided to ask her anyways. The girl asked her multiple questions about Crown Lake, even the rules. However, she asked a new girl, and no one likes you, she'll be kicked out. Nelly does not like that response, but she decided not to ask her any more questions. The principal and a teacher give all the papers by the girls, and Nelly has one. Nelly try to get her bags, but Nelly start to notice her bag is missing. Nelly asking the girls, where's my bags? All the girls just laughing her. Nelly starts to notice they're all laughing her for no reason. Nelly was embarrassed, but she decided to ignore them. She'll find her bags later. Meanwhile, inside the bus, the emo boy named Green Maisonet, the secondary main character. Green thinking himself, the Crown Lake Academy, huh? So that's what my father told me about this place. But unfortunately, only my mom knows about it. But I'll figure out how I get there. Meanwhile, Nelly just walk around trying to find her room. And Nelly able to find one. Nelly trying to knock the door, but no one is response. So Nelly just opened the door and enter. And she saw it was a girl just calling someone on her phone. And a girl start to notice she easily hang up her phone and asking a mysterious girl, Who are you? Hi, my name is Nelly Chambers. I'm your new roommate. Oh, well, my name is Tiffany. I know some nickname, whatever you want to say. Oh, um, is that your cell phone? Yeah, you don't have one? Um, my dad is a beeper. Oh, beeper is for druggers. Um, well, is that my bed? Yeah, be my guest. Where's your stuff, by the way? Well, my bag got stolen, but I'll find it later. How you let that happen? It's a long story. So, the inside, what is that? It's New York. Oh, right. <laughs> Nelly asking Tippy multiple questions, but Tippy pretty much annoying her because she is quite annoying. So Tippy just calling someone on her phone. Nelly got ignored by Tippy. She wasn't appreciated to annoy her like that. You know, she tried to be nice. And Tippy just opened her closet. And Nelly just looking Tippy in her closet. And Tippy start to notice and asking Nelly, Are you never have a closet before? I thought we could only wear uniforms around here. We can only wear important stuff outside free time, not in the school class. Nelly doesn't know what to think, so Nelly decides to check her own closet, and Nelly just opened the door, and Nelly saw it was a book look like a diary by her name, Heather. Nelly asking Tiffany, So, what happened to your old roommate? Well, I never like her, so I kick her out. Nelly, hearing this, she was shocked and speechless. And Tiffany just walks away, and Nelly just looking herself in the mirror. Meanwhile, the bus has arrived at Crown Lake. Green just able to get out of the bus. Green looks up and says, Welcome back, Crown Lake Academy. Green asks himself, Wow, so this is the Crown Lake Academy. It doesn't look that bad that I thought. Oh well, it's time to enter there. Green just entered Crown Lake, and Green just walking around. He saw all the boys just doing their own thing, and Green pretty much had no comment by these guys whatsoever. So Green just sit down, just waiting. Green hear a voice and asking him, Oh, hi there. Are you new as well? Green turns around. He saw it was a tall boy just talking to him. Green was confused, but he asking a tall boy, um, yes I am. Oh cool, I'm new as well. My name is Ryan, nice to meet you. Um, my name is Green, nice to meet you too. I've been graduating middle school. My mom sent me here this Crown Lake Academy. 
you know, vacation and college, but I wasn't expect this place to look a bit strange. Well, you're not wrong about that. It does look a bit strange. Anyways, my dad sent me here in this Crown Lake because my mom was a Crown Lake student. Oh, that's cool. It's a bit strange my mom wasn't a Crown Lake student. I guess I became a new member of Crown Lake student, I guess. So, how's your mother's going? Um, my mom passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's fine, but thanks. The principal and a teacher having all the papers by the boys and Green asking Ryan, I had to keep going, but nice to meet you, Ryan. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Green. After a while, Green just walked around the place. He found his room. He opened a door. He saw it was a boy just sitting there in the bed, and the boy started to notice and asking him, Oh, hi, you might be my new roommate, right? Um, yeah. Hi, my name is Josh Lewis. You know, my mom is a teacher. Oh, that's cool. Um, my name is Green. Green, my sonnet. So, this is the first time you've been at Crown Lake student before. Well, not really, but yeah. Well, you see, my mom was a Crown Lake student. Oh, really? My mom was a Crown Lake student as well. So, how's your mother's going? Well, unfortunately, my mom passed away a long time ago. Oh, I'm really sorry. Um, that's fine, but thanks. So, are you new as well, I guess? Oh, no, I've been a Crowley student for one year, so... Well, me and my mom were being Crowley student for our family duration. Oh, really? Wow, that's really cool. So, what happened to your old roommate? Well, let's just say he was selling drugs, and that was illegal, so I asked the principal to kick him out. He caused a lot of trouble this lately last year. Oh, really? Wow, that was really bad. Yeah, sometimes people do bad things for the reasons. Oh, I see. So, are you wanting to learn everything about Crown League Academy? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Green and Josh going outside. After a while... Josh should show it to Green about this crown lake, the exercise, the books, and a lunchroom, and every type of places. Green was surprised about this crown lake. It doesn't look that bad, you ever thought. Josh has a personal means. He asking Green, Oh, I have to go, Green. I have some personal means to do. I hope you enjoyed this crown lake, so see ya. Um, okay, see ya too. And Green just walked around the place, trying to get used to this crown lake. And Green saw it was a tree. So Green decided chilling there, trying to relax a little bit. And Green just looks up. He saw it was a two bags tub in a tree. And Green was confused and asking himself, What the? Why there's a two bags tub in a tree? Green trying to figure out the situation. So Green decided to grab the stick. And he's trying his best to put these bags down. So he did. So Green trying to check these bags. And Green starts to notice these bags belong to a girl. And they're new. Green asks himself, What the, what kind of idiot put the bags in a tree? That's a bit strange. Oh well, I guess I have to find the owner. After a while, Green just carrying two bags. And Green asking one of the girls what these bags belong to. One of the girls don't seem to know, but one of them does. The girl asking him that bags belongs to a red-haired girl. Green at first, he is not a fan of red-colored thing, but he decides to rush it off. And Green asking the girl how it's supposed to find a red-haired girl. And the girl asking him to find her yourself. And the girl's just laughing at him, and the girl's just walking away. And Green wasn't appreciate that, but he decided to ignore them anyways. So Green just keeps walking. After a while, Green able to find a red-haired girl and asking her, Excuse me, these bags belong to you. Sorry, but they're not mine. You mistake the wrong person. Sorry. Green was quite disappointed, but he decided to keep going. After a while, Green trying to find a red-haired girl... And Green started to realize there is a lot of red-haired girls around this crown lake. 
Green, ask himself, Oh, this is not going to be easier than I thought. Meanwhile, Nelly just walked around the place. Nelly saw it was a books of year. So Nelly just entered the books of year. Nelly just look around. And Nelly just pick up one of the old books. Nelly just sit down and open a book. Nelly saw it was the entire crowd of students who been the older generations. Nelly saw it was her mother ever since she was younger, ever since she became a Crown Lake student. Nelly had a flashbacks what happened last year. Nelly just sit down on the couch, trying to write something, and her boyfriend able to show up and asking Nelly, So, are you going to shirt with me? Um, I promised my mama had to be there by 11, but maybe a little bit. Yeah, sure, I'm going with you. Cool, let's just get out of this place. Nelly and her boyfriend able to get out of the house. Back to reality, Nelly just sit there trying to think what to do next. The blonde hair girl just got out of class and she saw it was the orange red hair girl just sit there all alone inside the books of year. The blonde hair girl decided to approach her and asking her, Who are you supposed to be? Oh, I'm Nelly Chambers. Are you new here? Um, yes, I am. Really? You do know all the students are in a lunchroom. Oh, really? It's a lunchroom? Oh, man, I should pay attention with this place. Let me guess. I guess the principal had told every new Crown Lake students about random things, even nicknames. Yeah, exactly. Heh, <laughs> this place. My name is Chloe Hauser. You didn't see me, okay? But, lucky for you, you just sit there all alone, and since you're not like the other girls, just like Tiffany, of course. Um, Tiffany is my roommate. Are you know her? Chloe, hearing this, she was shocked. She asking Ellie, um, it's a long story, but I want to stay away from her if I you. Anyways, I had to go, so see ya. Chloe just walks away. Nelly, at first, she has no idea what that means. But Nelly is feeling a bit hungry. Nelly decides to find a lunchroom. Meanwhile, Green has a harsh time to find a red hair girl and ask himself, Man, how many red hair girls around this crown leg? Man, this is going to be more tougher than I thought. And my arms are starting to get tired already. Green trying to figure out the situation. But Green is feeling a bit hungry. Green decides to find a red hair girl later, or he has to ask the principal about this situation. But for now, Green needs to eat something, so Green has to find a lunchroom. After a while, Green keeps walking. Green is not paying attention. He just bumps somebody. Green instantly falls on the ground and asks himself, Ouch. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. No, it's my fault. I should pay attention. Green just standing up. He saw it was the orange red hair girl. Green, at first, he never seen this girl before. She looks like a waifu girl. Green just looking at her hair. He doesn't know this is the right one or not. So Green asking her, Excuse me, these bags belong to you? Yes, those are my bags. How do you find it? I just found it in the tree. Oh, well, that's a bit strange, but thanks for finding my bags. I appreciate it. My name is Nelly Chambers. Nice to meet you. I'm Green Mycinet. Nice to meet you, too. Nelly and Green, this is the first time they met. Green asking Nelly, so are you new here? Yes, I am. Oh, so am I. Nelly and Green try and keep talking. But they're both feeling hungry. Both of them start to notice. They decide to go to the lunchroom first after talking. After a while inside the lunchroom, Nelly and Green just eating. Nelly and Green just talking. They talk about multiple things where they live and all that stuff. And Nelly was surprised. Green can't speak Spanish. Nelly wanted to learn Spanish for a long time. Nelly asking Green, are you going to teach me how to learn speak Spanish? Green was surprised, but he is not a teacher or anything, but 
he asking, Ellie? Um, yeah, sure, but it's gonna take a long time to learn Spanish. That's fine. I'll learn it. I'll be much better than you are. Green doesn't know what to think, but he asking, Ellie. Yeah, you will. After a while, Nellie and Green able to get along through. Nellie asking, Green. I want to thank you so much to find my bags, Green. I really appreciate it. No problem. Nellie and Green just left. Meanwhile, night inside a girl's party. Nellie just walking around. She saw all the girls are dancing. So Nellie decided to join with them and dancing with them. But all the girls were quite disturbed. They don't seem to like that. This new girl just walked in there dancing. But Nellie wasn't paying attention. She actually threw the juice by Tiffany's face. Nellie was shocked. She did not mean to throw the juice by Tiffany's face. Tiffany got mad at Nellie. Nellie tried to apologize to Tiffany, but all the girls are not taking too kindly with her. One of the girls asking her she is not invited. They are not allowed to bring new guests on this roof. Nellie can't feel bad and shame, so Nellie just walks away in a girl's party. After a while outside, Nellie just sit there, quite feel shame, and the boy just walking around has no idea where he's going. And the boy saw it was a red haired girl, but he decided not to ball with her, so he just keeps walking. And the boy just knocking the door, and the girl just opened the door. And the boy was confused and asking her, This is the boy's party. But the girl asking him, No, this is the girl's party. He came out the wrong place. And the girl just closed the door his face. And the boy was confused, but he decided to keep walking. And Nellie asking the boy, You do know it's quite too dark walk on your own. Uh, I was an idiot. I should have paid attention with this crown league. So you knew? Yeah, I was graduating to middle school. My mom sent me here in this crown league academy. You know, this is the right place. Well, my name is Ryan. I'm Nellie. So, why you sit there all alone? Um, that's a long story. Well, I'm just here to become Crowley student, just like my mom. My mom was a Crowley student, and she learns a lot of language. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, but sadly, she passed away last year. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. And only my mom would have been alive? Everything would have been different. And only my mom would teach me about this Crowley. Well, it's not that easy what you think, but I don't know anything about this crown league either. But sometimes we had to get used to this place. Everything would have been fine. Well, you do have a good point. Nellie and Ryan are having conversation. But Tippy just erupting them. And Nellie see Tippy, she looks down a bit shame. And Ryan just staring at the girl, she looks very beautiful. Tippy asking a boy... So, you're here to find a boy's party, right? Ryan just snapped out of it and asking her, Um, yes. Well, follow me. I know how to find it. Tiffany just dragging a boy away, and Ellie just sit there all alone again. Meanwhile, inside the boy's party, all the boys are having a good time. Green and Josh play a good ball, but they hear strange sounds. They saw it was a tall dude and a girl just holding his arm. Green asking him, Hey, where were you? You came out late. I got a little bit lost, but I got help by Tiffany. Oh, so you might be new. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm Ryan. Tiffany, never seen this boy before. He might be new. And he looks like an emo boy. Tiffany asking Josh, Who is he? Oh, his name is Green. He's a new Crown Lake student. Green, me, Tiffany. She was a Crown Lake student just like me. Oh, hi. Green, try and raise his hand. But Tiffany doesn't want to shake hands by this emo boy. Tiffany don't like emo people, so... Tiffany decides to salt in Green and asking him, Nice dumb hair. Why you just cut your hair and make it look good? 
screen, hearing this, he really does not like with Tippy just salting his hair like that. Green wants to argue with her, but he decides not to. So Green just rushes off and walking away in a boy's party. And Josh was quite disappointed with Tiffany and asking her, Jeez, Tiffany, don't you think it's a bit too rude to ask a new student like that? Tch, whatever, all boys are just losers. And Ryan has no idea what just happened. Meanwhile, Nellie just walking around. She wasn't happy. So Nellie just enter a room, sit down in bed, trying to think. But Nellie hear a voice on the phone and asking somebody, Tiffany, pick up this phone. Do not ignore me. I'm your mother. Nellie wasn't expecting that, but she decided to ignore it. Nellie just play around her bird. Nellie just look around. She saw it was Heather Starry. Nellie is a bit curious, so Nellie decided to pick up the diary and open it and read it. The diary asking Nellie, If you read this, if you found this diary, if you knew this Crown Lake, my name is Heather. I was a Crown Lake student just like you. If you're in a similar situation just like me, you're in the right place. I'll teach you the ways of Crown Lake Academy. If you want to be better Crown Lake student, you have to pass my test. If you want to see this Crown Lake Academy, trust me, you don't want to regret it. Remember, no one else will like you the way you are right now, but I will help you and guide you the ways of Crown Lake. If you change your mind, of course, and you want to continue reading, Nellie doesn't know what to think, but she'll think about it. So Nellie just put the diary inside the locker, and Nellie just go back to sleep. After 10 a.m., Tiffany able to show up. She saw it was Nellie just sleeping there. Tiffany just pick up her phone and calling somebody. Hello, are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake as well. The dancing started get boring, but... I met this new boy. His name is Ryan. He's a cute one. He has a lot of potential. I just helping him to find a boys party. And I saw another boy. He's new as well. He's an emo boy. Especially with that dumb hair, of course. He's even much more loser ever since I met that red haired girl. She was much more annoying. Nelly hearing this, she was insulted by this. Tiffany just finished talking, hang up her phone, and try and go back to sleep. But Nellie just confronts Tiffany and asking her, Are you going to mop on me? You know I can hear you five feet away. Careful what you talking. You should be a decent human. It's not my phone. You don't get what you want. You don't know anything about me. Well, you don't know anything about me either. Besides, you're just a new guest. Also, you throw the juice in my face. It was only an accident. I'm sorry. I try to be nice. Well, be nice is for losers. So you're going to treat me the same way you did to your roommate. It's not my fault she left the Crown Lake. I never asked her to leave. Even that was her choice. That was never my problem. At least there's her stuff in her closet. Even you can't use them. You're so mean. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. Also, stay away from Ryan. He is mine. You're nothing more than so a little red-haired girl. Nelly, hearing this, she pretty much done with this. She grabbed her things and go sleep someplace else. Tiffany asking Nelly, why do you think you're going? Nelly pretty much ignoring her. And Tiffany doesn't seem to care by this point, so Tiffany just go back to sleep. Nelly just sleeping on the couch. Trying to rush it up, Nellie trying to hold her bird, trying to calm herself down. Nellie just go back to sleep. Meanwhile, the morning, this is the first day of Crown Lake Academy. Nellie just grabbing her things. Nellie decided to leave her bird in her room, so Nellie just left her room. And Nellie has a lot of homework to do and learn about Crown Lake. And Nellie just entered the books a year. Checking her mother's legacy. Nellie will accomplish that gold. Meanwhile, 
screen, just walking around, trying to find a Spanish book. But the girl just bumps him, and Green saw it was a blonde-haired girl. And the girl asking him, Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. That's fine, it just happens. The blonde-haired girl never seen this boy before. He looks like an emo. He might be new. So, the blonde-haired girl asking him, Are you new here? Yes, I am. My name is Green Mycinet. I kind of like your new look. It does suit on you. Um, thanks. My name is Chloe Hounser. I kind of like your hairstyle. It does suit on you as well. Oh, thanks. So, Green is your name, huh? Is that supposed to be a nickname or something? No, this is my true name. Well, my favorite color is green, so I kind of like the name. Oh, I see. Well, that's a cool name. Anyways, I had to get going. I have some personal means to do. Well, nice to meet you. So, see ya. Chloe just left, and Green just checked around the books. He able to find a Spanish book. Meanwhile, Nelly just shot her room, trying to check her bird. But Nelly looks down. She saw her bird was broken. Nelly was shocked and asking herself, What? No, no, no! Nelly trying to fix her bird, but sadly, her bird is broken. Nelly starts to cry. Nelly happy a flashbacks her mother's death. Nelly is a bit upset, but Nelly started getting mad. She knows who did this, so Nelly just got her room. She saw it was Tiffany and two girls around her. Nelly just confronts Tiffany and asking her, You! You did this! Nelly showed her bird to Tiffany, but Tiffany asking Nelly, Why just put the glue your stupid bird? Nelly hearing this, she was really mad at Tiffany. After Tiffany trying to touch Nelly's bird, but Nelly just yelling to me and asking her, Don't touch it! Stay away from me! Nelly just walks away, and Tiffany and two girls were not expecting that. Meanwhile, Green just reading Spanish. Green hear a strange crying sounds. Green was confused, but he decided to check what's going on. After a while, Nelly just sit there crying. Green show up, he saw it was Nelly just crying. Green was a bit worried and asking Nelly, Are you okay? Nelly turns around, she saw it was Green. Nelly asking Green, Oh, it's you. I'm doing fine. It's just my bird is broken. Oh, I see. Um, you do know you can put glue your bird, right? Nelly, hearing this, she really doesn't like that. Nelly just yelling Green and asking him, No! Green was panicked and scared. He was inspecting that. Green asking Nelly, Whoa, calm down, I'm trying to help you. Sorry, it's just I will never forgive Tiffany to break my bird. Wait, Tiffany did that? Yeah, my stupid roommate. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I cannot believe she did that. Huh, how you get that bird? I never seen a bird glass before. Oh, this? My mom gave it to me, but she passed away last year. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry to hear that. My mom passed away as well. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's fine. It just happens. Anyways... What are you going to do your bird? I don't know. I never fixed a bird glass before. Hmm, I know. I can help you fix your bird for you. Really? But how are you going to fix a bird glass? Don't worry. I know how to fix glass. Trust me, I can make your bird really better, just like new. Nelly was a bit hesitant, but she can trust Green. So Nelly just gave her bird to Green, and Green just checking Nelly's bird and asking her, Huh, well, it doesn't look that bad. It's going to take a couple days to fix, but it's not going to be that long. Thank you, Green. I really appreciate it. No problem. That's what good friends do. Nelly doesn't know what to say, but Nelly just hugging Green. Green was shocked. 
This is the first time Green was never been hugged before. Green would start to feel uncomfortable because Nellie is a girl and also he just met her. So Green asking Nellie, um, okay, it's cool, but will you please let me go? You make me uncomfortable. Nellie hearing this, she instantly let him go and apologized to Green. Oh, i really sorry. I did not mean to do that. That's fine. I really wasn't expecting that. But seriously, Green, I want to thank you. You really are a good friend, Green. Um, thanks. Meanwhile, Nelly just entered her room, just sit there in the bed, trying to think what to do in this situation. But Nelly remembers about Heather's diary. So Nelly just changed her mind. So Nelly just opened her locker, pick up the diary, and open it and read it. Nelly is determined to learn everything about this crown lake. Try to find where you belong as you drown.